Hi, I'm Kirsten. I'm the branch manager here at the Carteret County Public Library in Beaufort, and I have another book talk for you. This one is on a YA novel that came out in 2018. Uh, it's actually Tommy Adeyemi's first novel, Children of Blood and Bone. She's come out with a sequel since then, and there's a third one planned, but I want to talk about this one that came out in 2018 because the minute I picked it up and started reading it, I fell in love with this book. It's very, the, the descriptions of this made-up world are very vibrant. Her characters are relatable, and you just instantly connect with them. And for a first novel, that's amazing that that happened. Um, again, it's a made-up world called Orisha, but it's based off of Nigerian culture. Adeyemi is actually of Nigerian descent, so she included a lot of the mythology and the language and the descriptions from Nigeria into this book and helped it helped shape shape the book. So the book follows Zaley, who's a young girl whose mother was brutally killed years before. The world is split into magic, people with magic and people without magic. And the people with magic were all brutally killed by the king who didn't trust them. And Zaley's mother was one of them. So Zaley grows up as a slave, basically. She's not allowed to do a lot of things because she has that blood in her. The diviner blood is what it's called. And she had, there are a lot of things that are forced on her, like a higher taxes because of what she is. Well, the problem is she's a slave, basically. So she doesn't have the money to pay off these taxes. And one day after the soldiers told her that she had to come up with the money, she and her brother Tsane go to the capital where they're hoping to sell a unique fish for a lot of money to be able to pay off the taxes. Well, while there, Zaley runs into Amari, who's actually on the run as well. Amari is the daughter of the current king, and she is on the run because she witnessed her friend be killed by her father. Her friend was also a diviner, and she was killed by her father, so Amari runs, and she runs into Zaylee. The girls escape the city and they go on a quest to try to bring magic back. They're hoping that if they bring magic back, they'll be able to fix the situation and dethrone the current king. On the way, they end up running into a lot of different characters. They meet these really unique creatures that are based off of real life creatures, but they have a little something different. I can't, I don't want to give too much away, but the uniqueness of the the book and the descriptions in this book and how the three of them end up stumbling on a bigger conspiracy than they could have ever thought possible really helps shape the adventure that they're on and it is this book is an adventure story it's an it's fantasy adventure romance um little mystery in there and it's Phenomenal, phenomenally written. I think Addie Emmy for her first novel did an amazing job and I hope you guys have a chance to read it. I think you'll really enjoy it. All right, thanks so much. Bye-bye.